Arr, what is this? It looks to be a pirate treasure map. Let's look at it closer. So yeah, on this treasure map, it looks like you can start your media hunts. Look at there. You, we've done Amazon hunts. We always do weekly hunts at Best Buy. We've done some Dollar Tree hunts. Yeah, we're going to end up going into another Dollar Tree. Target, always included on our weekly hunts. But what is this? Dollar General. Looks like X marks the spot. So let's get into a Dollar General and let's see what we can find. Let's go. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Jeffman 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeffman 316. Sorry, and I like to do a little, uh, you know, have some fun on the channel. We did a little hunt. Look, I did a little treasure map there. Um, I might use this in another video because I spent a little bit of time doing it. Look, man, I even look at the edges of it. Either way, yeah, Dollar General Treasure Hunt. Why did I call it that? Sometimes Dollar General has some cheap titles. I'll give you a sneak peek. Look at that called treasure hunt that sometimes there's dvds that are two for a dollar sometimes they even have blu-rays so i found a couple of those but i also did find a couple of other titles so let's get into the dollar general let's look around in the store and then come back here and i'll show you what i did pick up you obviously know i picked up a couple things so what are we waiting for let's go yep let's get into that dg right there dollar general see what we can find um just looking for some cheap options. Got nothing to do at lunch, so just wanted to check out a store. So, yeah. I'm going to look at that. An actual section of Blu-rays right up here at the front. I'm going to flip through. Hey, there's an actual 4K Hurricane Ice. I think I got that movie really cheap already, so not really interested in that. There's a three-pack. That's a good deal. Another three pack. The Ark of Truth. Man, I've seen a lot of this stuff in here before. So, a lot of $5 titles, a lot of stuff that's recycled from. It looks like Dollar Trees. Replicas for $2.95 is a good deal. That's Stagecoach for $2.95. Downton Abbey for 14 not that great of a deal. Broken Road. Oh, God bless the Broken Road. Lots of Duke copies. Woodstock for 10 bucks. That four pack there for $6.95 was good. I already own it, so I skipped over it. Flip through some DVDs. Um, they had some old comedy titles in here. That's pretty cool. I might consider getting that Howie Mandel there. DOA the remake. I'm not paying seven bucks for a damn DVD. Now that one looks kind of interesting. Almost like a Blair Witch kind of feel. Deleted scenes. I don't know. That looks creepy. Huh. Might have to try that one. Rated R. So yeah. Veronica Mars. The Heights, we saw that in the Dollar Tree. Seven Souls. Huh. Best little whorehouse in Texas. Another, a lot of Spanish titles in here. What's going on? El Camino. Hey, that's the Elizabeth Moss from The Invisible Man. Never heard of that movie. I don't know. It might be an option. I have to check that out. I see that WrestleMania surfs up too back there. I'm not even picking that up. There's another one of those Howie Mandels. I might, have to, I might get that. This little four pack comedy there. Look at that. Fast and Fierce Death Race. Poor Man's Fast and Furious. Together. I don't know what that was. Starting over, we've picked up that before. There's another dollar title. Look at all these Spanish titles. 
an old comedy stuff. Look at that. Smitty. What the hell is that? Another Spanish title. Oh, Ralphie May. Is that his name? The Office. Speaking of the Invisible Man, there was the DVD of it. Friend Request pretty good. Tailgate, that's a pretty decent movie. We've picked that up before. In the Earth, I think I got that at Dollar Tree. Joker, it's not a cheap title. Reality of Love. You have to watch some of these things. Hey, Ride the Equal. You have to watch some of these things. Sometimes they're used movies. It'll say previously viewed, so you have to watch the back of them. Uh, look at the sticker on it. A lot of repeat titles. So you waste a lot of time flipping through here most of the time. The Love Garrett Quarantine. Love and Quarantine. Coal Miner's Daughter. I guess I need to learn Spanish if I'm going to come in this store more often. King Creole. That's an Elvis movie. Here's some of your treasure hunt titles. Two for a buck. Sometimes you find some treasure in here. I think it's silly when they put loose discs from TV series. Adam's Rib, Elegy. Nobody likes Elegy. Nobody likes those porky pigs. It's always duped. Uh, put in there. Look at this though. There's a Criterion Collection. Scoop. The Descendants. Monsoon Wedding. I don't know anything about that. A, a disc of 24, the TV series. Felix the Cat. Confetti. No clue what that is. Hmm. Public domain stuff. I'm not really interested in getting that. The Good Life. What the hell's title is that? It's a Kino release. Huh. Christmas Tale. Berry Monday. On the way out the door, though, they did have this um, little rack. Look, there's a 4K, another one on here. There's that Fast and Fierce. Sorry about the background noise. A lot of people talking. Looks like the same titles that were over there, and you can't even get the damn thing hardly to turn around. Hurricane Heist again. Replicas. Yep, a lot of dupes. Bride Wars. All right, well, let's get out of here, and I'll actually get home, and then I'll show you what I picked up from this store. So, hey, what did we pick up in the store? Man, I was shocked to see a couple of actual 4Ks in the Dollar General. I got the movie Hostels with a Christian Bale. I don't own this. I don't even, I've never even seen this movie. This usually isn't my cup of tea, this kind of thing, these historical movies, unless it's really, really good. But I'm assuming the performances will be good here with Christian Bale in it. They had another 4K in there. Was it Hurricane Heist? I actually bought that like super cheap, for like five bucks on a Black Friday sale or something way back in the day. Um, I got a couple movies that when I actually went up there and rang them up, they rang up it says $2.95, but it actually rang up for a buck. Um, the first Howie Mandel special. I really like Howie Mandel. I used to watch his stuff on like, H was it HBO or Showtime? And this says it's uh, from 1983. So it was, I was willing to pay $2.95 for it, but when I rang it up, it rang up for a buck. Now this movie um, didn't ring, ring up for a buck. It was the only one I paid full price for. I don't know, man, the cover just had me. It says Gaia. I don't know how to pronounce that. She will transform us terrifying make sure it will make sure to make your skin crawl yeah that's easy for me to say the cover got me on that one um it's rated r sexuality sexual content anybody ever seen that movie i figure if that's the only one i paid full price for here's another one that i paid a buck for and the only reason i got it is because elizabeth moss is in it and i loved her in the invisible man el camino never heard of this it's a buck if it's no good, I'll watch it and I'll sell it at the yard sale for a buck. It's got trailers, deleted scenes, with or without director's commentary, and it's got a short film called Gravity on it. So I figured that'd be a good watch for a buck. And then here's your treasure hunt. I got, how many did I get here? One, two, three. 
And so if you're unfamiliar with it, dig into the bins and a lot of times under the good stuff or they'll have them stacked together. I've gotten season sets of television shows before. Um, so in this case, it was a buck and you got two DVDs. The first one actually has the Criterion uh, collection of a movie called Tiny Furniture. I think that's what it's called. And this is disc one. So I'm hoping the movie is on disc one and the special features would have been on disc two. So either way, but two movies for a buck and one of them is a Criterion. The other one is a movie called Elegy. I'm not sure if I'm thinking of that right. Is that a Selma Hayek movie? Or I can't remember. Let me know in the comments. I haven't looked it up yet what Elegy is. But two for a dollar and one of them is a Criterion disc. The other one I got because um, I figured my dad might like this one. It's a two for a buck of King Creole, which is an Elvis Presley movie. And the back of it is a DVD of Duplicity. I'm not sure what Duplicity is. Is that the um, Julia Roberts movie? I'm not sure, but I really got it because I want to give him King Creole. So, And then the last one is another two-pack. And I don't have no clue. I can't even... Um, see what the name of this one is i guess i should have opened it ahead of time you guys tell me what it is it's a kino international release i can't read what that is you guys know what that is i'll open it later put it in the comments but it's got an image title of the good life on the back so hey i like surprises so hey i got six movies for three bucks and then and a 4k um and then i also got these for a buck well, let's see. So I spent three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 11, 12 bucks in there. And one of them was a 4K. So I'm looking for cheap options to fill up my uh, collection. You couldn't get more cheaper than that. What do you think? Do you like it? Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. I really can't do this without great people like you supporting me. So watch the video, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, you need to hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos. So I'm going to go into some, another Dollar General. I'm going to go into some Dollar Trees. I'm going to go in Goodwills. I'm going to start doing random hunts and post one or two of them a week, if we, even if we only find a title or two. So until next time, boys and girls, this has been JeffMan316, and I'm your Pop Culture Reporter, and I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there.